Hi, this is the first in a series of videos demonstrating GitLab's container security features from the defense stage. All container security features in GitLab require Kubernetes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a Kubernetes cluster. For this, I will be using the Getting Started with the Web Application Firewall Guide. The link is on the video's description. The guide uses Google Cloud Platform. I'm already logged in into the console which you can find at console.cloud.google.com. I am also logged in to gitlab.com. So to get us started, I'll click on new project. I'll say create from template. I'll choose Ruby on Rails and I'm going to call it WAF quick start. I'm going to leave it public and I'll hit create project. This should only take a few seconds. Now, we can click Add Kubernetes Cluster or can do the same thing using the Operations menu under Kubernetes. And this is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to select Google G GKE. I have to select my account. I'm going to call it Rails Auto DevOps. I'm going to select the project. I'm in Australia, so I'm going to select a zone in Australia. For number of nodes, the default is three, but since this is only a demo, I'm going to change this to one. Next, I'm going to click Create. And your Kubernetes cluster is going to be created. This should take a few minutes. Once that's complete, you should be able to see this screen. Next, we want to install some applications. In order to use GitLab's managed applications, you need to install the Helm Tiller. So I'm just going to click Install and wait until it's completed. And that's it! You now have a Kubernetes cluster that you can use to try GitLab's container security features.